try again and a, uh, get this Viking chair modeled. Uh, as we start off with, we start off with a box. Thank God it's not pink this time. Okay. Hit M to open up my material editor, and it's very important that uh, the, for this class that you present your stuff professionally. I don't want to see anything, anything you make. I don't want to see it purple, orange, blue, green, anything. I want everybody to put a gray material on everything you make in this class. Uh, show some professionalism. Okay. Turn on my edges. I'm going to make sure it's centered by using the move tool. I'm going to center it to zero here. And I'm going to maximize the window. There we go. Convert this to editable poly. Just taking these quick steps here. And I'm going to go ahead and use the scale tool here just to make it a bit longer. Right about there. All right. I'm going to hit J to eliminate this bounding box around it. And I'm going to go ahead and go to edge mode. Now edge mode here. I'm going to go ahead now and do things a little bit different. I'm just going to select those two top edges. I'm going to chamfer those like I did earlier. I just did it a little bit different previously because the video I was doing previously got wiped out. And I'm going to connect these edges. And I'm going to put one connection across here that goes all the way across. And then I'm going to just tar use the target weld to weld it right up in there. So let's see. Connect. I'm going to use the slide slide it up. Now you'll notice I don't slide it all the way up there just yet. I just get it close enough to where I can target weld it. And I click on vertex. Target weld. Target weld. And I click and I drag and I hold my mouse till I target weld it up there. 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 Alright. So from here then uh, I'm going to go here. Now you notice how I select all those edges there. I just click and drag out here and it selects them all. You can see they're all selected. Wireframe mode by hitting F3. And I'm going to hit G here to turn off this grid. Alright. So from there, I'm going to go to the connect, use the window here. Uh, maybe it would do if I actually selected the edges here. Let's do that again. Connect. Now you'll notice it retained the number from the previous one I'd used. I can't use that, so I'll slide it down. Okay. I'm going to use two. Pinch them together. Slide it down. Right about there. Now with this one, this one, I'm holding down control to select multiple. This one. I don't want to select these two edges here because I don't want those to connect. So I just right click, go to connect again retains the numbers and actually that looks pretty good don't want them to be too close when you're doing this you don't want these to look like this okay, that's not good construction you want to make sure that this thing you gotta tell people hey this is made out of wood it's got some weight to it it's got some feel to it so we gotta make it believable so now we go to polygon mode I'm gonna select these polygons and I'm going to delete them because we're gonna just do like a cookie cutter and cut out those edges there. So with them selected I just hit delete. Go back to edge mode here. And I'm going to select these edges and introduce again the shift copy method where I hold down on the Z axis here. Hold down shift and just drag them. You never want to drag them all the way down or all the way up. You want to just drag them down to where they're just above just a bit. And then I right click here target weld and I can target weld the edges also here. I'm just going to repeat over here the same thing. And I'm holding down control to select those edges. Hold down shift, right click, target weld. There, there, there. Okay. There we go. Now to soften these edges up, because it is wood, I want to make sure that it does have some believability to it. So here in edge mode, just going to select this edge. I'm holding control and I'm going to select all these horizontal edges except the ones that deal with the cutout over here. Let's do this, 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 and this. Now with all those edges selected you can see when I hit F3 and go to wireframe mode it's just those edges that are selected. And I right click and go to chamfer here. Now by default it's going to be a lot, so I don't want to do it that much. So visually you want to make sure it's about like that. Not much more than that. 
I'm going to click OK. There we go. I'm going to click this button up here to render it. That's what we're looking at. And actually, I'm only going to show you how to change the background color of this also. Because this black can, you know, kind of breaks up the shape a little bit. And it's a nice contrast, but it really can't see. So I'm going to hit 8 on the keyboard here, and it brings up this environments and effects. And the first thing you see here is background color. You can change the background color to anything you want. I'm just going to make it a light gray color, just a little bit more. So now when I hit the render button up here, or hit nine on your F9 on your computer, it's actually a different color. Now I can see more of the shape. Okay. So also, a good thing to remember is never rotate these objects until you're done modeling. Don't ever rotate them just yet. All right, now going back to edge mode, I'm going to click off these. No edges are selected. I'm going to click and drag. See, I have just those edges selected. And I'm going to go to connect again. Retains the numbers. I'm just going to connect once, just like that. And this time I'm going to select just those edges. So you'll see I have one, two, three, four edges selected. Use the connect tool. And we use edge connect a lot. It's probably one of the most common tools we do use. Now here I'm just going to select these, hit F3 so you can see, just those edges. Now you notice they don't connect down there, they, you don't want them to. And I'm going to connect those with one, see it connect there and there. And then let's go to wireframe mode, now I'm going to select just those edges. So it comes down to basically just uh, learning how to subdivide objects to get other shapes and forms out of them. So with those edges selected, again go to connect. What's also cool is you can um, go up to preferences and actually assign certain hotkeys yourself to actually make these uh, much quicker steps. So by hitting T, I'm going to go to top view. It says right here, top, smooth highlights, edge faces. And I'm going to go to vertex mode and just select those two vertices. A lot of people new to 3D don't realize that they're actually selecting two vertices when they're in one of these flat views, but the fact is you are, because as you rotate around you'll notice I have the bottom one selected also. And I did that by clicking around. So with those two selected I just use the move tool and pull it up a bit. Just about like that. So there we go. Back to perspective mode. And let's do a quick render, see what this looks like. That's kind of what we want for the first piece. Now 